By 2050, two-thirds of the world's population will live in urban areas. Our cities are growing rapidly, consuming more and more materials for construction. So how can our economy grow alongside our cities without eventually running out of resources? The circular economy is a concept that really needs to engage all the stakeholders in our industry. And the Make City Festival was an ideal platform to bring all these people together. So what we're talking about is to create value and to grow without consuming non-renewable resources. We have to think about uh, the entire life cycle from where we start and where we are going to change the infrastructure so it can grow without creating waste. And I think it's a completely new mindset which also reflects on the design. Look at Get Cities today. I think a lot of them, there's still a lack of awareness on what exactly the opportunities are for their specific city and how that fits into their other strategic agendas. So I, what we've seen a lot of cities doing as first step is to just like set out a baseline assessment, like understanding out where are the main opportunities for my city and then create an action plan, like how are we then going to capture those opportunities. We have a lot of, say, policy instruments. So if we can apply uh, so-called circular criteria into our procurement uh, strategy, then we can make a difference. We as a city are responsible for urban planning. Uh, so for example, what we did in Amsterdam was uh, put circular criteria into, say, the, the development strategy of our biggest transformation area called uh, Harbour City. Uh, so there, there's a lot you can do to stimulate, to facilitate, to steer it in the right direction, to challenge the private sector and to challenge the citizens as well, of course. The key principles for me in circular economy for construction is that it's a matter of design uh, on, uh, on many levels, uh, from the material level to the building level, but also designing collaborations. But most exciting thing is that using uh, circular design principles, we can create a new circular aesthetics and make buildings that have a deeper meaning for people. The first steps you have to consider is how to make sure that it's going to happen. And uh, we are taking a quite hands-on uh, approach to this and we are building for the first time in Denmark a house in, in Aarhus where 90% is going to be uh, circular building materials. We have to bring people together in a really early stage and that's not the, how it works at the moment. You know, we have, uh, there's an architect, there's an investor, there's the real estate, there's the building laws and everyone's kind of like working in its niche and um, we have to come back to, um, to another planning culture. We don't need to sit and wait for a like, te new technological revolution. Uh, we have the digital revolution, we have all the solution we need to actually transition the economy. So it's very up to, to us like, to, if we want to work together and actually make it happen. Mm -hmm.